Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, September 19, 2016. Our discussion word is judicious. In Matthew 12:37, for by the words thou shalt be justified, and by the words thou shalt be condemned. Romans 14, 10 through 12. But why dost thou judge thy brother, or why dost thou set at not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. James 2.13 For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has shalt mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. 2 Corinthians 5.10 For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or bad. Revelations 20, 11 through 15. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. This word defined as showing judgment as an action, practical expediency, discreet, prudent exercising or characteristic by good or discriminating judgment, wise, sensible, and well-advised. When God judged Israel, it was a judicious judgment. We are not to be the ones who judge others. God is the only one who has the right to judge us. When God judges us, it will be without discrimination and judicious. In the end days, Jesus Christ will judge us according to what we had done, whether it be good or bad. When the Lord comes to judge us, he will judge our hearts and know if we truly love him with our hearts, minds, souls, and strengths. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.